Welcome to Huawei Connect, and I'm here with Zhang Tao, and you're the Vice President for the Intelligent Compute Business at Huawei. And we are talking about today the full-stack AI approach. Yeah. Can you explain what it is? For Huawei's full-stack uh, and all-scenario AI solution, because last year we already uh, released our company strategy about AI, mm -hmm. full-stack, all-scenario. And that means uh, that uh, we have a full uh, series chips. Mm -hmm. That means uh, for our Ascend series, for Ascend Nano, Mini, and the Max, and all kinds of uh, chips. Mm -hmm. And then beyond that, we have our CAN. And then beyond that, we have our framework called Mindful. Mm -hmm. And then uh, there's uh, that beyond that, and there's uh, Mode Arts. That this is a full stack solution. That means our customer, you have a uh, have our full stack solution means that we can easily integrate all kinds of AI solution. Mm -hmm. uh, but uh, I have to say that uh, this is uh, not bounded. Mm -hmm. And uh, you can use Atlas uh, independently mm -hmm. and uh, use the third party tensor, uh, third party uh, framework such as TensorFlow, PyTorch, and it's okay. That means, but we just provide this uh, um, full stack solution means that uh, we can provide, uh, let somebody know that AI solution can easily achieve. Mm -hmm. And also, if you use Huawei's first stack solution, you can do, uh, we have to do a lot of optimization mm -hmm. on AI, can improve the inference efficiency and uh, training efficiency. Mm -hmm. And it's an open solution? Yes, we're totally open. And it's open for hardware and for software. Can you explain more what's open and what does that imply? Uh, it's, uh, first, it's, uh, it's for open for hardware. That means mm -hmm. based on our chip, Ascend, uh, Ascend series chip, Mm -hmm. And uh, our product name is uh, product name is Atlas. Mm -hmm. uh, Atlas, all Atlas, open. Mm -hmm. And uh, Atlas 200 is a module, mm -hmm. and uh, everyone can in embed this, this module in his uh, own mm -hmm. equipment, mm -hmm. and then have AI uh, has AI capability. And also, he can use the different kinds of third party uh, software mm -hmm. when on our Atlas. Mm -hmm. uh, can, we can support uh, many, many operators, algorithms, and then third parties uh, uh, frameworks such as TensorFlow, PyTorch, and then it's very open. Okay. And uh, for the MySQL and uh, what else is totally open to our developers, customers, everyone can use it. Mm -hmm. Okay. And it's all scenario. So what does it mean? Can you give some examples from use cases how you can use it now? Of course, uh, because you, you can see in our booth and uh, uh, already we have our ABB uh, use cases mm -hmm. and uh, we incorporate these ABB robots and we embedded our Atlas 200 uh, module uh, embedded in ABB robots and then we can do the garbage selection. That you know that uh, different kinds of garbage must be put to different kinds of garbage bin, mm -hmm. and then this can be done automatically. Uh -huh. Okay, this is use case one, and I can I will show show you two other use cases. Mm -hmm. the, the other one is that a smart uh, power grid scenario, uh, because you know the traditional way, and some workers have to climb to the very high tower and uh, go along the high voltage. A line mm -hmm. along uh, to searching if there's something wrong with the high voltage line, and but it has to be done by people, by person. And it's very it's risky. Risky, very dangerous. Very, very dangerous. Very, yeah, very yeah. dangerous. Yeah, yeah. And then, but if you use our AI solution, our put our Atlas uh, 200 in a camera and, and put this camera on the top of the tower, and then this camera can do the automatic. Uh, monitoring all all the line every one kilometer or two kilometers, and that means and it can be done automatically to searching if there's any anything wrong with the high voltage line, and can replace the work of uh, replace that dangerous work. It can, I think, it can save lives. Yeah. Yes. And the third uh, use case I, I will share is about the expressway mm -hmm. because in, in China, if you enter expressway and, uh, mm -hmm. and uh, go, get out of in expressway, you have to you have charge. But, uh, you have to <laughs> yes, park in your cars and uh, stop your cars and yeah. then get a get a um, 
badge and uh, when you get uh, go out of the expressway, you have to uh, return the badge and uh, give the money to the to the charging station. And now everything uh, is uh, automatically. And uh, we just put out other 500 uh, equipment uh, in the expressway, and then all this thing can be done automatically. That means when the vehicle uh, enter the expressway and they go out the express, it do not need to stop. It go very frequently uh, from through the expressway. The, 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 you cannot, you do not need to stop and get card and uh, charge and uh, return the card. No, everything, uh, no need. I think some great cases and some great potential in yeah. all scenarios in all industries. Thanks yeah. a lot for sharing your uh, your knowledge. And thank you for watching here from Huawei Connect in Shanghai. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Enjoy this video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share, and get notifications of my new video.